Hello friends, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can stay tuned to my latest video. And now let's get started. Today we are going to be talking about the five websites that I use to get free stock photos. Now there are times when I do buy stock photos, but for the most part, I like to get my stock photos for free. And these are the five, I actually have 10 websites that I use to get stock photos. In this video, I'm only gonna share with you five of them, but if you wanna see the other five websites that I use, just go to my website below. Um, I will put a link below to my website where you can go there and see all of the the websites that offer free stock photos. Okay, so just remember guys that right now, a lot of these websites do offer free photos, but there may be a few photos here and there that have certain stipulations, which maybe some of them, you might have to credit the, um, the person. But for the most part, I have not had any problems with any of these websites. Just make sure that you do read their, um, what the rules are for each one of these when you try to use somebody's photo, okay? Okay, so the first place that I go to, actually one of the ones that I go to the most is Unsplash. This is one of the most well-known websites to get free stock photos. They offer a variety of photos, over one and a half million photos to choose from. The next place that I like to get photos from is called freeimages.com. This site has plenty and a lot of beautiful photos. Now some of these photos you want to be careful because it's not that you can't use the photos, but they do want you to attribute the photos to whoever it is that took the photos. So on this website, to the right hand side of the photo, it'll usually say if you do or do not need to credit the person for the photos. Okay, so the third place that I like to go and get my photos is Canva. Now, if you've followed me, you know that I like to use Canva a lot. It's a free website for you to use, and they also have free stock photos that you can use. And they do have some paid photos, but they're really cheap, like $1, up to like maybe five dollars actually I don't even I've never even seen one that's five dollars it's just one to three dollars but you know they vary but they do have a lot of free stock photos that are really amazing so you can go to Canva again if the platform is free I will put a link below if you want to go there and sign up for Canva for free the next website is called stock snap now I love this one because they really add a lot of photos constantly there you can see that they're adding constant photos to this website and that this is a website that many people have not heard of so when you use them you will be getting photos that probably a lot of people have not used then last but not least is pixel pixels really hasn't been around that long it's probably I think they probably started around 2015 but they are a great web website to get beautiful pictures so again, I just want to remind you guys to please read the stipulations for each of these platforms. Most of the time, I haven't had any problem. well actually I've never had any problems with any of these websites and the photos are free and I've been able to use them on my website or I've been able to use them on ebooks, etc. But again, things change and sometimes you just need to check and see if the photo is still free to use or maybe they just want credit for their work. So this is all for now, friends. I hope this has been helpful for you. If there is something else that you would want me to make a video for, something that would be helpful to you and your business, then please leave the comment below and let me know.